Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Navy Lingo here at the National Civil War Naval Museum. I'm Jeff Seymour, curator and historian at this great institution, and I am standing in front of the wreck of the CSS Chattahoochee, one of the great ships under our care here. Again, one of those stories that you'll not hear anywhere else. Well, anyway, this edition, this word is gudgeon. Not to be confused with curmudgeon, which my boss accuses me of being uh, on a regular basis, but gudgeon, G-U-D-G-E-O-N. Gudgeon, it's a specific item. Here is a loose one, it's made out of iron. Notice it's uh, U-shaped and it's got a hole right there. What it does is, here is examples of it. This is what the rudder sits on. So you attach this, it's, it makes a flange. It makes a hinge and specifically for a pintle. So the pintle, the pins attached to a rudder are attached to this gudgeon this particular item here. Now here you have, well, they're in bad shape because they were part of the wreck, but we're gonna see here in a couple of minutes the actual rudder of the Chattahoochee, but the pins, the pintles, actually fit into this, and this is how you are able to operate the rudder. Now the origin of this word is, uh, is a little confusing. Uh, it came into use in naval terminology specifically with the rudder and the stern post early 1500s. So, right about then, we started using this term on a regular basis in the shipbuilding industry. So, ladies and gentlemen, gudgeon. We are now by the actual rudder of the CSS Chattahoochee. And here you can see the pental version of where they fit into that gudgeon. And again, this is a traditional style of making these things work. It's that hinge. And again, it's a traditional form of ship making and where the rudder fits onto the gudgeons on the stern post. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this program, please make sure that you hit that like button below and join us on our other social media sites and especially at our website, www.portcolumbus.org.